the scripture for this sermon called On the Death of George Whitfield, or what I will call Fully Devoted to Christ, is found in Numbers chapter 23, verse 10. Let me die the death of the upright, and let my end be like his. Let the end of my life be like George Whitfield's. For as your father in Christ, he was diligent and faithful to the end. Mr. Whitfield connected with the Methodists at Oxford as a young man. He followed the methods of our small group and accepted Christ by faith. He ministered in the countryside due to health reasons, and he was ordained at the age of 21. Then George ministered in London and in Dummer. His preaching grew and expanded. He then followed a calling to go to America and minister there. He returned to England and first preached in the open air in Bristol. Again, he returned to America and started an orphanage in Savannah. He preached up the East Coast again and then returned to Savannah. He continued to preach on both sides of the Atlantic for many more years, drawing large crowds wherever he went in America and Europe. And understandably, the cause of his death was exhaustion. Mr. Whitfield was gifted with unequaled oratory skills and zeal. He was cheerful, charitable, and tender-hearted. But what of the inward man? George had deep kindness, gratitude, and love which far exceeded mere earthly love. It was godly love. He was sincere and honest with all. He was patient and flexible, but immovable in the things of God. God's love poured out of this man. Who has brought more sinners to God? Here are the lessons we've learned from Mr. Whitfield's life. Keep focused on the essential doctrines. And always give God the glory, for there is no merit in humankind. We cannot do good without the grace of God. Salvation is by faith alone, in Christ alone. We must be born from above to be able to walk as Jesus walked. There are two essential doctrines, the new birth and justification by faith. Let us follow his example by having a true ecumenical spirit. Do not look down on other denominations or Christians. Bear with one another in love and in unity of spirit. And finally, O oh God, let your spirit rest upon us so that we may love one another.